Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of my YouTube channel Book Talk with Navinthi. So in this episode I have a book again from a local author and this time it's Mrs. Talta Vijayaratna. So this book was requested to me by my Facebook fan page and when I got the book I found it way more interesting than I thought it would. So the book is Little Hills of Vandaniya by Talta Vijayaratna. So this book is mainly about the Sri Lanka rural culture for kids. So this is about um, three three mischievous boys who have their own adventure and what happens in that. So this is mainly about their small rural village called Rangdeliya and it's quite a beautiful place with trees and fruits and birds and even a little stream so they are quite happy there and they have their own adventure so this book is all about that and so all of the story it starts when Samantha and Vasantha along with their sister Hasita move on to this little village called Vandiniya which is a very rural village in Sri Lanka in the Kegol district near Pinnavala so Pindal is very famous for their elephant orphanage and tourists from all over the world come to see it. And Rangdan here is a very cool village near it. So they have their best friend Salat and his sister Kalyani and these five always love to hang out and play. So here it first starts when they try to discuss about what type of game they would play and they decide to make some butter leaf work. So it's quite simple to make. So you have to make some small guns from butter which is quite of a, a small type of bamboo and you can put, you have to put a small kale foods. So kale is a small type of food which has a milky taste and you had to shoot it through with a stick so it's a very wonderful game and you will have to play it and then it goes on about them playing in the street so they play deer boom and they throw salt in the water and they have to find it and they even have an encounter with a water snake so don't worry it's not poisonous one more thing all these names are local so don't forget that okay so on with it then we have Singhala and Tamil New Year festival. So here it's the new year for the Singhala and Tamil and here they have all sorts of celebrations. So Samatha and Vasanta's family are quite into the rural culture and they do their things according to the according to the auspicious time. And after the auspicious time they have a small celebration with sweet meats like kaum, cookies, asmi, alua and of course milk rice. The auspicious time is a special time segment in the new year festival where you do not do any work. So in the middle of all this, a news was reported by Velvidane who is quite an important character in the village. So it was about some antiques being stolen from a Buddhist temple in the region. So Samantha's father and Vavidani were were quite sorry about this because they worship the religion from the heart and they were quite sad and they were quite angry about this stealing things from the religion. So um, then it comes when they play a game called Panchakiri. So this is, you have a small board which has some part plates. So this is basically like Ludo. But here you have some shells. You have some seashells and you have to put them in a coconut shell and you, and then you uh, toss them around the floor. So it's kind of very simple to do it. And you would love it once you try. Then it comes to the adventure so when 
the Vesak festival came it is a normal tradition to go out to the temple and worship the buddha so here when samanta vasanta went to the temple they saw two men dressed in colored clothes so in the temple it is quite compulsory to wear white and so samanta quite recognized these two men because once when they were swimming in the stream they saw these two men walk by so then the next day they had yet again a new news about again but this time a golden buddha statue being stolen then someone then wasn't dis- discovered along with salat they discover a new way which goes past the stream into a cave so i would want you to find out what's in the cave and what will happen to the two thieves so that is the main story of this and there are many reasons i chose this book so the main is because this is mainly about the sri lankan culture the sri lankan rural culture this book is the perfect book for one who do not know about sri lanka's old and rural culture and here they even make some toys with the with nature so they take so that so, so they take many things from the nature and they build toys not now so now they have plastic which is quite harmful but in the rural culture they make toys from bamboo from the fruits and from the fishes some in this book i have not even heard or seen or even experienced but my mother and father have experienced many many times and even their mothers and fathers they have learned this to the heart so this culture is now dying shrinakan it's not fading so we should learn to protect this rural and traditional culture so that was the quite the main reason i chose this book because it's quite wonderful to learn about this sri lankan traditional culture and so here they have a chapter where they make bamboo guns so it's like you put a kerosene which is called bhumita in sri lanka into into a long bamboo and then and then you blow and put some fire and then it blows up in a huge noise so they do this several times it's quite fun and you should be safe of this too because it can be dangerous so this book is perfect for kids who live in the modern areas where you have busy schedule to learn about the rural tradition so once again i would really like to thank you sata bujaradna for giving me this book and i learned a good lot of things here so if you want to know about many more books like this please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you